Hello there, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to paint this portrait of an aged lady with a lot of sweet wrinkle marks on her face. I was really intrigued by her innocent smile at this age and I was more than happy to paint her. As you can see that I am putting all my efforts in drawing at this stage because it is such an important part for my painting process. A good painting always start with a good drawing. Now moving forward as you can see that I am just using a very thin wash of grey paint which is actually a mixture of ivory black, sap green and prussian blue mixed with a slight amount of yellow ochre to create a sense of warmth in the color. And I will be literally using this same mixture of color with different tonal variations throughout my work. As you can see at this stage I am only defining the basic elements of her face including the wrinkles. Now you can see me working real time as I am starting with lips here. You can see how I am using the brush slowly to drag the color as per my drawing. In watercolor it is very important to maintain a perfect balance of pigment and water in your brush to work smoothly. As these areas I am working here are relatively the darkest areas in her face but you can see that I am not just trying to make them dark all at once as it is all about layering of colors one over the another to build the dark values. If you can follow me then you can see that how I am using the brush to make the marks in her face in a very gentle and mild manner because in watercolor you don't have to run your brush vigorously to make certain areas rather it is always better to let the water do the talking. Now I am just working in the similar fashion to paint the wrinkle marks on her forehead and other areas. As in this case, I am working with monochrome. So understanding and maintaining the proper values to define the depth in the skin is very important. Now I am just trying to define the areas around the eye here which is going to the focal point in this portrait. You can see how I am moving the brush to create the wrinkle marks which is the key here because most of the people try to make the area around the eyes with very consistent line which may work for younger skin but as she is an old lady her skin is no more tight enough to hold this shape. So understanding the properties of your subject while painting is also very important if you want to catch the character of your subject. Now you can see that how I am trying to darken the values very gradually at this stage. Apart from this keeping a very good eye to your reference is also very important while painting areas like this. Though you don't have to copy it exactly but you have to be able to catch the likeliness.
Now I'm just using the similar technique to paint the other eye hair. Along with that I'm also painting some darker areas to create depth in her face. I'm also making a few brush marks to establish the elderly skin texture of her face in the cheeks and other areas. Now I'm just working in the hairs and you can see that I'm not trying to paint each individual hairs at this stage because I'm not painting a photorealistic portrait here. It's all about suggestion of brush marks that resembles with hair. You can see that how I'm using the three tonal variations to define the highlight, mid-tone and the darkest dark of the hairs and it eventually start to look like hair which is good enough in this case. Now you can see that how I am using a relatively darker tone to establish certain age marks in her face which will surely enhance the character of her face. So putting these small things under consideration is also very important. Along with this I will also use another layer of paint to darken some areas to create even more depth and contrast. Now I'm just making a few more brushwork here and there to call this painting off. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please let me know your comments in the comment section below. Any suggestions or constructive criticism is always welcome. Thanks for your time guys. See you all with a new video very soon. Till then, take care. Hey guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you want to support my work, then please do like, comment and share my works. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon which is very important so that you get notified as soon as I post a new video.